I'm gonna say us because you know I'm a black man, so they're including all black men in the pot. So fuck it. They're <laughs> saying because we going off to get our passports and meeting women outside overseas, you're wrong for that. You ain't strong enough to deal with an American black woman. And I'm like, uh, bullshit. The way American society is set up is the reason why you have those issues. You wouldn't find these type of issues in other countries because things are not like an American society, right? Where everything oh. goes. Which in the dark world, don't get caught. <laughs> so when you got that type of options and you got that, I mean, you really think your marriage is, yeah, it's going to be tested. <laughs> you know, <laughs> come to America, it's going to be tested. <laughs> Well, believe it or not, 70% of my patients who are cheating now are women. And yes, and the men say they don't see it coming. What happens is that the women get into this rut. They feel like they're not being appreciated, uh, not being taken out, and they start seeking affection elsewhere. Did she say that women go out and seek it elsewhere or men seek it elsewhere? Well, believe it or not, 70% of my patients who are cheating now are women. And yes, and the men say they don't see it coming. Well, first of all, who is she? Is she who is she? <laughs> who is she to say that? What is her title? What does she her seventy percent of her patients? I believe she's a doctor. I think this is a. Or doctor. is she a marriage counselor? Yeah, well, yeah, be a doctor still, no matter what. Okay, let's play one more time so we can understand. Well, believe it or not, seventy percent of my patients who are cheating now are women. So, uh, yeah. Whether she's a doctor, medical doctor, therapist, <laughs> she got patients. I think. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I would have to get the frame of reference because if if that's a lady who's a psychiatrist who is dealing with like marriages and relationships, then yeah, for her to say 70% because they probably are there because there's a problem, right? But if she's a regular doctor, I don't see a woman telling a regular doctor like, oh yeah, I'm cheating on my husband. Can you check my, you know, blood pressure? Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so let's say let's say she is a therapist. Correct. Can we say that if she is in she does see and talk to her patients, and out of a hundred of her patients, seventy percent of them, the women are telling her that they cheat out. Yeah, but here's yeah. the key: is that a hundred women went to go get help. That's the That's difference. Not <laughs> no, I mean, I'm okay. just saying, there I'm not laughing. Look, 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 look. I'm not laughing at it, but it makes me chuckle because it's like, well, chuckle, <laughs> chuckle real good. I'm just look, saying. it's like, it's like we point the finger at men, right? Because and men don't go see... get help. <laughs> no, they're he cheating and you. they're screwing everything that they can, and they're not even thinking that, hey, this is a problem or this is hurting my relationship. Whereas that woman is saying, Maybe she did go out of the relationship, right? But she's got enough, you know, I guess I don't want to say moral aptitude, but whatever it is to say, you know what? I need to get help or we need to fix this because I she recognizes that. she's leaving that relationship because something's missing. Hey, I don't okay, think I look, I'm not going to play devil's advocate, but tonight I'm going to say, tonight is going to be about get your passport. Every time I hear something that sounds like, <laughs> <laughs> get your passport. <laughs> You know what, y'all can get y'all's passport, but you know what else comes with that passport? <laughs> monkey and, and pox. And no monkey. <laughs> uh, gonorrhea, clap. You can get that shit here. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like you going over no to problem. foreign countries where they don't have medical care like we do. So that girl could have been <laughs> itching for 20 what? years. Yes, what? Yes, they, do. they got better medical care. It's not in the DR, they don't. If you go to, if you go to Canada, Canada, oh my god. What guys are I going to there. Canada to find I, a chick? What? Are you serious? Most <laughs> guys are going to the DR. No, it's not a lot of don't guys. lie, they're going to the DR. They're going to like Puerto Rico and all them kind of places. You understand Canada was like the first spot where like a lot of the people from are the South end up like migrating to because of course, of, it was no, free. And then like I was look, I spent okay, check. I'm not gonna be talking about history. I spent one month there myself, not fucking staying at somebody's house and nothing. I was on tour. So yes, it was a little different. So I got to see really Midwest of Canada and all of West Coast of Canada. 
right? Yeah, but most and of those black women were African, right? It wasn't even about them being black women, though. I wasn't even looking at the oh, whole black women part. Okay. It wasn't okay. even a, see, it, it wasn't even an ethnic group. I wasn't even looking at, <laughs> oh, she got to be this color or that color. And that's the thing. As black men, a lot of times, our women don't understand. After a while, we don't look at, like, if she cool, she cool. It ain't has nothing to do, like... Now, there are some black men that's like, oh, no, man, I'm the only black woman, black woman. So cool, hey, man. No, you know what I mean? I don't hate on that. I think, you know, whatever floats your boat, you know, keeps you going. But nobody's... I wasn't looking at a race thing when I went there. You get what I mean? I wasn't looking at race. Yeah, but it most wasn't guys like, aren't going to Canada to hook up with girls. They're going to go to, like, poor countries. They're not going to go no, to Canada. Don't. Oh, my oh, God. My God. <laughs> That's so bad. We can take a poll, but I'm telling you, they're going to get like your passport. And, you know, places where they can get them cheap girls. <laughs> no, get see, your passport. Okay, <laughs> that's entirely true. So you can go, you can go virtually anywhere in, in America, as long as you it's got a blunt, a car, and some and, 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 and some drink and a and a hotel, you can pretty much bag anyone that you pretty much 